Hi guys, welcome to another PK12 Productions. Today we're looking at uh, the new iOS 4. Now this is installed on my 32 gig iPhone 3GS and as you can see I pretty much made use of folders down here as you can see in my dock as well as various other folders as you can see. Now the first function obviously we're going to be talking about is folders. Now here we go here. I've got my own communications uh, folder which consists of obviously my mail, my SMS, my chat programs and that's pretty much it. Internet it consists of all my major internet apps that I use from Safari, Opera, eBay, Facebook, what's a uh, well, bank, uh, Internode, my internet, PayPal, uh, Twitternator, Ustream, a B105 Richard Radio Station, and of course um, Steam. So there. Uh, various other folders I've made also. I've made several games folders because you can't put everything into one. There's a maximum, I think, of actual applications you could put in, or I would have actually put it all in one uh, folder. But all my games apps are spread out onto about eight folders. So that's cool. So there's my entertainment uh, folder. There's Action, there's Sega, there's Racing, there's my Music uh, apps, there's my Flight Sim apps, and just Sports Games, and Arcade. And of course you've got obviously the game center. So we're going to game center. Pretty much. I'm just logged in with my mobile me account, obviously. That's my name if you all were to want to know what that is on the Appinator. <laughs> uh so here we go. Pretty much, if there's any one line that you've added for friends and that sort of stuff, it's much like Steam and that sort of thing. Obviously, I've got no one added as such. Uh, so we've got friend requests. If you get friend requests and all that sort of thing, they keep up on gaming and all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Right, the other thing I want to show you guys is multitasking. Now, it only occurs in the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4. So pretty much all you have to do is double tap the home screen and you've got your applications. There's your lock rotation button. There are the controls for your iPod. There's the iPod button. And there are all the other apps that are open currently. So if I go into mail, it opens up mail. If I double tap again, I can go to settings like so. Uh, if I want to double tap again I can go into the App Store. Double tap again I can go into the iPod. There you go. Double tap again, go back into the games. If I double tap again I can now go into Twitter. Nata. So there you guys have it. This is pretty much multitasking on the iPhone 3GS. Now to get rid of those applications in your multitask that are already open, you simply hold down till it jiggles and you have a red dot and press it and it pretty much you can get all those away pretty much. So there we go. That is multitasking. Alright, there are other things we want to talk about here. Tap to focus. Now this is a good one. If you go into video now, so I'll switch to video, I can now tap to focus. 
which you couldn't do previously in video. The other availability you got in still Okay, the other thing also is pretty much in photos now, you've got a five times digital zoom. So you can see there. There we go. That's better. Yes, I don't have my tripod with me guys, that's probably why. There we go. You can see the zoom. Basically you've all seen zoom. Uh, wireless keyboard support is the other thing. Uh, so let's show you that. Basically once you've got t Bluetooth turned on you can just press the keyboard. Okay, put in the pass key. And pretty much you're paired. Now I've paired it with my Bluetooth keyboard obviously. Now if we go into say, I don't know, Safari is always a good one. Alright, let's try. Notice how the keyboard didn't come up that time? Now let's uh, try something here. Uh, I'll just move this forward so I just get a standstill. And fail. Okay. I need a stand, don't I? Alright, let's keep it there for the moment. See what that does. So pretty much, I can go into here and type stuff you can see. It's popping up there. Yay. So yeah, that's wireless keyboard. Okay, the other thing is obviously wallpaper. Just like the iPad, you can go straight in and you can pick either whatever color you want and it will ask if you want to set it to either your lock screen or home space or both, home screen or both. So I'm not going to do that, but yeah, you get the idea. That is pretty much wallpapers for the iPhone iOS 4. Right, the last feature I want to go to show you is pretty much in the iPod section. Pretty much now you can create and edit your own playlists. So pretty much, I'm in a playlist at the moment, I can now edit that right I can add more songs to that, delete songs out of the playlist I can add more songs as you can see just add songs on it whatever I want to do okay and obviously I can add a new playlist as such and pretty much that is all the major features that are new with the new ISO iOS 4 <laughs> thanks for watching guys and cheers